name is Mike Carr. Welcome to Computer Orientations. Today I'm going to be showing you the first accurate OVH firewall setup. This is actually going to be part one. This one is going to filter TCP and every other protocol. So, except for UDV because OVH does not provide such tools. Only allows you to allow it or deny it and that's about it. So, anyways... Uh, oh yeah, also unfortunately Kill all does still gets through on this. You still need a, a second or trip life here, whatever the hell. But we'll get through that in another video. So, uh, first off, you would need to whitelist SSH to prevent any DDoS attacks to that port or anything bad to happen. So, to prevent anything bad from happening, I mean. Alright, so let's do this. I use port 22. You can use any other port. We could also bring out a tutorial on how to change SSH port later on this year. So... Next, you're going to want to accept four four no eighty first eighty established source rather just rather allow established connections to have all connections so there we go for that number two four four three there we go and then this is going to filter every other port. To prevent DLS attacks, this is going. This will be able to work on Xbox, Discord, and every other whatever service. So for number three, we're going to drop TCP SYN four except TCP established and five drop TCP. Next, for rule number six, we will be dropping, we will be accepting, I mean, you, no, actually, we will be dropping UDP source port 5353, because apparently that's some sort of vector right there. Seven, dropping UDP for port 53. Now, you're going to see in a few minutes why this one is, is essential. This, this drops 99% of DNS attacks right here. All right, then eight, except UDP. And then I prefer to drop IPv4, which drops every other protocol at number nine, because I'm not gonna add anything else. But if you want to, you can add it to rule 19 if you wanna add any rules in between all the current rules. All right, so that's on you. So nine, drop IPv4. All right, refresh the firewall, check to see if all your rules are there. Yep, they're all here. Um, also, by the way, you don't have to add rule number five because IV4 would also cover it. That was my stupid mistake, but anyways. Now, this is exclusively for the game server, this part over here. Now, by default, all of the users will not be able to connect to your server through OpenVPN if you don't have the port allowed here so you go to other I'll be allowing 1194 I will not be installing OpenVPN for this tutorial that you'll have to do and then so we add 1194 to the game firewall that's it that's all you need to do and then from there uh, we're going to show you the whole DNS thing alright so I'm going to go to here alright Oh, let's not forget to actually enable this on permanent so these rules are automatically applied. Alright. So now we're gonna clear this out. We're gonna go to nano slash etc slash resolve dot configuration and you're gonna add this DNS IP address here and then there you go. And now DNS should be working through VPN and everything. Now, if you did like the video, please leave a like, leave a comment. If you have any positive comments, I do not like these a-hole comments. And I will see you in the next orientation, which will probably be in a week or so. Sorry if I had any erratic words or whatever in this video, like I was getting off topic, I know. This is my first video, so please give me a break. And probably next video will be more edited so we could cut some time out, alright? So... I am Mike Gar. You can follow me on Instagram 
at Mike R here, just like one word, Mike R here. I will leave that tag in the description. And I will leave the OVH firewall document in the description for a more in-depth look into the firewall. All right, you guys have a good day. Bye-bye.